Welcome to Date with Danu. Today on the show, we are going to be celebrating women in different industries. They are super strong, very sharp when it comes to their wit and sense of humor. As my first guest on the show, I have a veteran media personality. Uh, she's definitely someone who has graced multiple stages with her amazing presence, uh, although she's quite short. Uh, I'm happy to have Savitri Rodrigo as my first guest. <laughs> Hi, I'm Savitri Rodrigo. I'm the host, director and executive producer of Kaleidoscope with Savitri Rodrigo. So Danu has dabbled in a lot of media and this is one of those shows that has been extremely successful. And like I said earlier, I'm extremely excited to be on my debut here uh, with Dave with Danu. So I've known Danu almost from the time he entered the media and so I've watched him grow. Um, he's been a very exciting personality, someone who's turned things around in the media I might say and also a very large personality to contend with. However, there's one thing I do know, he's a very friendly person and an extremely generous one. And we have Savitri. Hello. Hi, Danu. Yes, we are, I'm a little bit vertically challenged. Yeah. <laughs> but then compared to you, that is. Uh, that is true. I'm uh, horizontally challenged. This is the thing. Yeah, that's a bit of a problem. That's, uh, that's another issue that we have to get into quietly on another day. Uh, you have been the same size for years now. How have you managed this? I haven't grown. No, no, no. Not in terms of height. I mean, in terms of size. Ah, um, that's a little trick. You wear sari when you want to cover things. <laughs> There's nothing to cover. Uh, if, you, if you do live down Havelock, you can actually see Savitri walking around with a brick and a, or a stick. Something, uh, some sort of a weapon is in her hand. Uh, that's because when she goes on walks, you don't want to mess with her. That's about right. Yeah. Hmm. I once tried saying hi to you, no? but you never looked at I me. I never looked at you. Yeah. No. You never look at anyone. No, because that disturbs my concentration, because that's the time I actually sing to myself. I have conversations by myself. Oh, you're one of those people. Yes. I'm the same. Desi. Is it, uh, is it a mental problem when you talk to yourself? No, right? I'm assuming it's not. There you go. That feels good. Because I have these conversations too. And I, I, I always win. Uh, the arguments? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Isn't it wonderful? It's wonderful. So we are going to be speaking to uh, someone on the other side. Now, uh, there's also a reason why we have got the two of them on the show. We are going to be speaking about how International Women's Day is celebrated this year in different ways. Uh, there's a reason why it's celebrated. There is a purpose for it. Uh, it also centers around COVID. That's what the UN has put together. So, so much for us to talk about. On the other side, uh, she's making her appearance again for the second time on the show. She just bullied her way into this. You know, I had no choice. Uh, I'm happy to have the ever so youthful, um, fun loving Mahika. Hi, my name is Mahika, and I'm ready to go on a date with Tanu. The Date with Danu program, I, mean, I know it's been going on for a long time. It's very interesting and I'm quite excited about it, but at the same time I'm a little worried. Um, but however, if our message is uh, basically uh, you know, transpired from this, I'll be more than happy. Um, he's a gigantic person in the media world and a celebrity, in my view. Um, I've been with this program for the second time and it was not an easy task. But as a person, I think he has a big heart and I'm happy to be part of this again. And I love him. <laughs> And I'm excited to be with him again and to connect with 
date with that. Welcome back and we have Mahika in the studio. So Mahika. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Mahika is like um, Miley Cyrus. Really? Isn't she the one who sang the climb? Right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. But having a name like Miley Cyrus is sad, no, in Sri Lanka? <laughs> Not a good idea at all. <laughs> they will never address you by your first name. <laughs> So tell me about your uh, mountain love. Um, do you have to... T I, I <laughs> no, so right now, I think this is the best time for everyone to appreciate Sri Lanka. Okay, everyone, if, if, if there was a situation where the uh, borders were open, everybody would be out of this country. But please understand, Sri Lanka has so much to give with nature. Um, and if you go up a mountain, you will understand that our country is the Emerald Isle. It's paradise, yes, but there is so much of greenery and so many places that nobody has ventured forth. So I Where take the slow roads. have you ventured forth, my dear? So I take the slow roads. Oh. The places that people have not gone and areas that people have actually not even mentioned in um, the grid of tourism spots. Mm. So that is something that I'd like to do. My question here is, who are you climbing with? Is that a community of people? Yes, there's because a Because you can't be alone climbing mountains? No, no, there's a community of people who appreciate Sri Lanka and actually there, are, there is four of them. And um, they've been doing it. It's just that I just got in very recently because I just started appreciating. Right. And I got into that group and it's happening. So the times that I can, I tend to climb mountains. Right. So now, uh, you all together are going to be doing something very interesting. And so, so are many others. All amazing women who are coming on board to, you know, stand together and promote and speak about some great things. Which we are going to be talking about on this show, considering the fact that it's... Um, it's, it's always a good time to celebrate women. We'll speak on that when we do come back after the break. Do stick around. It's a day to stay. So this year, International Women's Day is also celebrated considering the fact that we have a COVID-affected world now. So that's part of the plan for this year's International Women's Day. So tell me about... Um, okay, I've seen you all at multiple Women's Day celebrations. As a woman in the media industry, especially at a time when started, there were few who actually pioneered this industry. How important is it to celebrate a day called International Women's Day, especially even in 2021? Okay, let me not just talk about media, but in general, um, women do amazing things, but of for course. the most part, they are not celebrated. So yes, there are two schools of thought. Why celebrate women? Because that means you're actually, it's an affront to gender equality because you know, that means you're actually uh, putting women in the spotlight for their gender rather mm. than for their abilities. Yeah. But to me, I think there has to be a start. So the start is where we actually celebrate women who've done great things. And the, one of the things that is, that is different about this festival is one, we are not just celebrating on one day. We are going to run four days in March. And we are celebrating women who are, for the most part, maybe under the radar. Uh, you know, p young people who are doing, who's all, who are all doing great stuff. Mm. And uh, no one seems to be knowing about it. So it will be good to bring them into the spotlight as well. Amazing. So what is this event now? Uh, Mahika is here to speak a little bit about it. So we can quickly touch on that as well. Okay, so the event is named International Women's Day Festival. Mm. And we created it so that we take on the first Mondays of each week mm. and each day is given a theme that is absolutely synonymous to the UN and the pressing situations that are happening in the world today. Right. Like the first Monday would be uh, the peace prompters. Mm. Uh, the second Monday would be the pioneers, which is actually International Women's Day, 8th of March. But we have two sessions in that one because we have women uh, who have changed the corporate sector, their environments and even communities 
um, in the first session and the second session will be a few good men mm. who have actually taken the male's perspective and given that right to the women and who have actually taken on, how have embraced that um, situation where the women actually are in the forefront. Right. So that would be the second session. And then on the th third Monday, it will, it's known as the creative forces where the arts, literature and dance come into play. And then the final one is called the positive disruptors. And these are all change makers in their own fields and in their own disciplines that have actually created a change or a new wave in the industry. in the industries and the that's disciplines. amazing so because you know one of the important things that we always talk about okay we were talking about the new millennium the new millennium came now we are like quite in the old part of the millennium but we are still celebrating these things where we don't need to celebrate the gender we need to celebrate everyone's achievement Absolutely. but it's kind of sad that we have to still highlight it and it's not only a sri lanka problem it's a world problem and uh, i have i have been someone who has always said like my household i would have been on the road like i don't know buried six feet under if my mom and my sister have not Absolutely. you know like given me the guidance and the life that i needed uh, so sometimes we underestimate what women are actually naturally blessed with as well they actually can multitask. Look at Mahika. She's climbing mountains and <laughs> Very but, true. on a serious note. I but combine it's a truth. tasks, not hmm? multitask. I combine tasks. Savitri, I really want to say something here. Oh please do. <laughs> I'm watching the theatre. <laughs> okay then. All oh, right. Let's get into Hot Seat. It's one of my favorite segments where we put people in trouble. And so we have the questions ready, Sadhguru, because it's your first time on Date with Danu. I'm super excited to start this off with you. Oh dear. Ready? Your favorite host on stage. Faisal Bonzel, Kumar De Silva, Arun Das Bandarnaik. Arun Das Bandarnaik. As someone who has always enjoyed theatre and performances, who is your favourite on stage when it comes to acting? Your following names, we have three men and three women for you to choose from. So I choose one from, from each, each gender. Okay. <laughs> each gender. Okay. Alright, from the male category. Gehan Block, Dominic Keller, Adam Ali. Then we have ladies, we have Tracy Halsinger, Melanie Bibley, Michelle Hurft. Okay, let me get the males first. Gehan Block. Dominic Keller, Adam Ali. Ooh, tough. Uh, Adam, I think, because of the multiple roles he has played. Okay. And I've seen him on many stages. And the women were Tracy. Melanie and Michelle Hurft. Tracy. Your favorite Colombo diva? No names given, you can pick. Oh. Danu? Huh? Yeah. I'm not. A diva. Yeah. Yeah. If you have to give a tagline to Colombo society, what would it be? Always changing. Yeah, yeah, boring, I know. Mm. Your favorite hotel PR personality? Yasmin Carter, JJ De Silva, Mahika, Niranga. How can I say not, not say Mahika, right? I okay, mean, then we'll, really... we'll take Mahika off we'll the grid. We'll take Mahika we'll... out. No, 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 we'll keep Mahika. No, we'll Mahika. take Mahika off the grid. So there's Yasmin, JJ, Niranga. I'll take Yasmin. We'll take Yasmin. Mahika, this is not your question. Mahika. Yes. <clears throat> if you had to pick someone to do your PR for your upcoming event, which hypothetical situation, who would you pick? Nadia Akram, Yasmin Kader, Savitri Rodrigo. Savitri Rodrigo, out and out. Endorsement. The most desirable man out of the lot for you. Don't tell me they're taken, they're not taken. Who you prefer? Immaterial. Yeah. Immaterial. Hans Billimorea, Gehan Block, Ashan Dias, Harim Fernando. Ashan Dias. 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 Ashan
Pashanda. The way he says it. <laughs> Climb every mountain. <laughs> If you can go on a blind date with someone, what are the qualities you look out for? Qualities, conversation, to connect, something to talk about. Um, yeah, I think more connections uh, where I can have a proper conversation and, a, you know, a person Only who, talk. Yes, and a person <laughs> who will appreciate what I am and not, you know. We just talk about stuff. <laughs> Can I just add yeah, maybe please. that not a vegetarian, a vegan, or a teetotaler? No. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> if you are to go on a date with a lady in Colombo, who yes. would it be? Your options are Soundri David Rodrigo, Ashanti D. Alvis, Asha Divos. Like a proper date, like romantic or any how you would like it, a dinner date, holding hands, watching a movie, eating popcorns, all of that. Holding hands. If you want. My to. bestie, Chamida, Vikram Singer. Coconut. Coconut. <laughs> if you can rejo rejoin the hotel industry, where would you go? Hilton Colombo, Shangri La, Golf Face Hotel, Mount Lavinia Hotel. <laughs> You'll take a sip of water then. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think I would go to some place, a resorty, more... There's also Shangri-La Hambant Hotel. Well. Shangri-La Hambant Hotel. You'll go there? Oh, yes. Okay. In a heartbeat. Okay, fine. Thank you, Mahika. Thank you. Well done. Actually, uh, you all are both bad at it. Uh, we'll see you after this. Talking about the International Women's Day and uh, this is Date with Tanu in conversation with Savitri and Mahika. Uh, Savitri, you were in mainstream media for a long time. Then, of course, you have seen media evolve. You have been there from Capital 99 time when radio sort of saw the first private broadcast and then sort of moved into so many multiple stations at one point. We had so too many frequencies to for an island to keep tabs on. But now you have got on to the new form of media online. How are you enjoying it? Thoroughly. Okay. Uh, because now... Was it strange for you? Because coming from a television background, we have learned and got used to certain things when it comes to TV or radio or whatever. But it's very different when it's online. Tell me about it. It is online. It is different. Um, one of the things is you have a little more flexibility, I think. Um, also because TV evolved from the time, like I said, we had a blue screen and then yeah. it evolved along the way. Uh, but it's not really very, very different, but you just need to know who your audiences are. And also, you can't do those long 20, 30 minute interviews, nobody's going to listen, as in, unless it's extremely, uh, extremely interesting. So my format was just do very short, small clips so that anyone who wants can actually just take that bit only. Attention span is very, very little now. Yeah. So either you have to keep it going or you're dead meat. Yeah. Um, and the results show immediately. Yeah, true. So that too you have to keep in mind. When were you scared when you were ke getting into the new format of media? Because, uh, you, because as much as it's so rewarding, because it's quick, you see the progress, you see you can do something fast and nobody is grinning down your throat saying, Thursday, 8 o'clock, it needs to be up. <laughs> you know, none of that is there. You know, you have your own time. But it also shows that, you know, when you have brands on board, you are like, oh, I hope I, there's a good reach. You know, I hope there is. Because, you know, it's so transparent. It's like a fear factor for everyone. Like, I feel it always. How do you handle that? Always challenging. And yes, there's an underlying thread of fear uh, that you won't uh, deliver what is promised. Uh, thus far, Touchwood, God has been good and I've been lucky. I also have a very good partner in Prishan Panditage who just came on board the moment I went and told him, look, I'd like to do this. Um, and also the trick is to just be new all the time. So every program has to be completely new in what we are doing. So that is a lot of work. When mm. it's a weekly program, it is a lot of work. And one other thing, uh, like you said, it can go up any time, but I... I'm very disciplined when it comes to work and very target oriented. So 
for instance, the program is up every Friday by 6.30 a.m. There is no compromise on that. So little things like that, I'm very sort of pedantic OCD. about maybe, yeah, almost yeah. OCD, but then I guess it helps. Yeah. And uh, I just make sure that I have a routine because it helps me. I'm a person who works on targets and timelines mm. all the time. Mm. So because it's it's such an evolving media today and you know even even at the time when you would have got into the hospitality industry it would have been so different you know it was all a good press release or get exactly. great photographs printed and that that was it that was right. the maximum you could do to promote a brand of a hotel but right now you have to think of so many avenues because as if it's not media, you have influences. If you have no influences, then you have personalities. Then you have no personality. There's so many layers to it. How uh, do you think we are all keeping to time today in the industry? Um, Let's speak, even especially as somebody who works in tourism. Correct. Like in terms of tourism, are we keeping it with um, the times? Well, we have. We we are actually doing well. Okay, so we are doing well, but we have a lot to go towards too. Now, even when you were stating about the press release and all of that, now we have to look at so many ways of collaboration. If those people that we collaborate with, are they brand fit? Do they go with the same values and principles and philosophies that we go along with? And it has to work well. Mm. Because you can't go just because they're so popular, but where, where, what is their DNA? Exactly. Is, does it fit to ours? So you have to think about all of those angles. And then at the same time, I mean, things that we, we want to do, somebody has to also be enthusiastic and want to be part of it and understand the bigger picture. Correct. You know, you know, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work, but the people who understand it will actually think, okay, let's work together because it looks like it works because you have that enthusiasm. So you need to have people who are in that same line or aligned with what you want to do. So you can't take everybody. It's mm. people who have the same DNA and their brand fit. All right. Now, we do something called status update from the time we were speaking about social media. No? So this is where we use your platforms to publicize our show. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> what Why a not? wonderful theory. She no? said collaboration. Yeah. See? Am I a good DNA fit for you, dear? Yes, my mm. darling. <laughs> Thanks. All right. We'll see you with this. <laughs>
uh, you need to be and on what you seats. should wear and what you should not not wear and also a little bit of a sanitizer from healing island oh. dilaw was very sweet that's really nice or oh, the fact that it's like a a bag of its own you can Correct. leave everything and just bring this and come come and then you yeah. can put your phone and everything, everything else in there it. and just yeah. keep it all together thank you yes. thank you maga pick it up on the way all right? all right but this gives me access to all four days which Absolutely. is a great thing as well yes. so now these uh, shows kaleidoscope is something that i always see online now it is to promote local talent young for talent. the most part i'd like i like to promote young talent innovators Uh, women achievers how do you find people. them how do you like track them down how do you feel like mm, this is a good person for me so i scour or at least i have people who scour instagram looking for you have stalkers you, know, you have stalkers yeah. uh, plus i also i have two very good sort of um, what do you call hubs uh, randula de silva from hatchworks and glx and uh, himali the silver from ape because mm. they have access to a lot of the young people who are right. doing good stuff so they they also give me a lot of contacts and also it's just you know talking to people finding out and and sort of say ah that works and mm. getting in touch with them okay that's great so maika you have now gone back to you have left your very busy corporate life and you've gone into a more a more understanding corporate life um it's not okay so the corporate life had it's pluses and minuses oh, yeah. um but i think uh what i have got into or the person that i'm working with is an inspiration herself and for me uh this whole venture with savitri the both of us over lunch came into one being. of these ventures actually worked out of the lunch because you all have eaten so much and <laughs> you all had <laughs> to be some no, no it was just you it was an excuse to meet yeah, up and have a chat true. so yes yeah. yes but i think it's um i think she inspires us a lot and her mentoring makes us want to do certain things out of the way of the box at you never told that no i work for taru management okay so taru has 12 villas across the uh, and now this gives you time no now you have time in your hand you do get to do your things because now you're back That's in right. dancing you're also into ballet now yes you I were do. a ballet dancer before that's right uh so you seem to know a lot more about me than yes. i do so you yes. yeah so you are you going to be wearing a tutu no 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 i don't wear i'm more contemporary uh dancing right now not on point anymore ah, okay. classical but yet on contemporary dance form that i do and also i just want to keep myself a little bit fit and healthy because i climb those mountains <laughs> <laughs> mm. We get back to the mountains with the big like Definitely I'm saying this there is a human connection to this mountain I need to actually seek to analyze who might be Moses <laughs> Definitely <laughs> not uh, Definitely not but uh, yeah I have to get to that um, we will see you after the break this video It's time to ask some of those questions. It's time to play Sticky City. All right, so Savitri, you have seen this uh thing called the Colombo Society evolving and becoming what it is. What are your thoughts on the society? we become very materialistic okay. and we forgotten basic fundamentals like values and principles uh sadly that seems to be the norm rather than the exception what are your thoughts about this you know i'm a socialite these statements that we hear uh how do you define a socialite in especially in your trade because you have to come up with guest list sometimes if you're handling an event for someone or if you're doing the pr for someone and the, these are the other things that you do beyond media and you have to work with all of them and have them there and how do you sort of what what do you think here and not show here um okay so a socialite i think was there from time immemorial okay uh long before the word influencers came into being because socialites were the influence influencers of they society. were influence yeah they were actually the influencers because they would be the a list 
whether mm. you know uh, to the races or wherever you were going they would be the a list that you would want to have at your party right. at your event um, from the you know if i go back maybe thinking about ivan gulam hussein for instance i mean she was invited to everything and anything because she had that presence and that mm. whole so they were socialites in their own standing um, not to be taken in a negative connotation though mm. it was a very positive thing because they they work the work the room they knew how to have you know, the command of the people exactly and right. they had presence and charisma and personality and that whole thing and they had their own way of dressing and talking and all that and over the years that has evolved there have been people who who sort of made gone up the ranks and become socialites themselves um it all depends on who you would want at your A-list party. So you now have a wider variety to choose from. Mm. And Is it a bad thing or a good thing? I don't think it's a bad thing, really. Mm. Because again, it's all on perception. It all depends. I wouldn't want to have anyone at my... Because for me, I prefer more intimate, known people to have chats yeah. with. But then it depends if you want to launch something or if you want to have a party that everyone is talking about. Why not? Call them in. Call the troops in. Mm. But Mahika, dealing with different types of people at different sticky situations where they're like, oh, why am I not invited? Why wasn't I called for this? How do you handle those kind of situations? We actually invite everyone. So this is why. I mean, we think out of the box. This is what happens. And we have to explain it to the people to understand Sri Lankan society is very different. So the corporates that I've been working with has always been international. So they always think in a different, they call it the KOLs, the key opinion leaders. leaders. So, but at the same time, we are in Sri Lanka. Yeah. And those are the people who come and basically wine and dine in our hotel. So you have to explain to our superiors, this is why we need to have them. And this person and this person, they're a little bit, a little bit of history. That's the where the PR comes in to tell, you know, somewhere down the line when we have this and we plan on doing this, then there's this, we have good collaborations and there is always going to be positivity and the network is going to happen. Mm. Then they go, okay, those are, this is why we need to invite them. So because they don't understand the Sri Lankan society is very different. Mm. <laughs> they want to be, you know, the people who come are the ones who actually, you know, do, who wine and dine and we want in that particular uh, maybe they are not the brand fit, but they will come because it's the name. Do you feel that media has, mm, what can I say, taken too much of freedom in enjoying benefits from being influencers who can actually put a news out or a message out? Asking me? Both. Um, not really. Actually, uh, influencers are people who are actually, for me, the ones who actually attract what we want. And they're not in media per se. They are, they are people with certain personalities and genuinely doing certain things that fit what we also stand for. Anyone is a media personality today because I think anyone with a smartphone has the power to inform and to create a wave. That's what I feel. But the content... Yeah, true. The content that they put and the way they do it and how they have the charisma to go to some place and just say, you know, I want this and it looks so damn beautiful, you know, and uh, the way they do things. But then they have to understand what we stand for. They have to know our purpose, they need to know our passions, and they need to know what we really stand for. And then they will do it right. Madam, what do you say? So personality matters. For sure. And no, I, media per se, I don't think takes advantage of, of anything that's on offer uh, for the most part, because I think everyone uh, is doing a job. Um, like I always say, just because, I mean, look, whether it's singular media, Tamil media, mainstream media is yeah. what I'm talking about. They're all, they're all doing a job. And it's, it's difficult. It's difficult circumstances sometimes. Not only timelines, but the way they work, the way they have to work, the conditions of work are not, not what you, might, you and I might call exciting. Mm. Uh, so yes, they might enjoy a cocktail or whatever it is, but they do have to produce whatever they came to produce uh, to their bosses ultimately. 
Um, no, so mainstream media, I don't think take take advantage. And really, I haven't come across anyone who actually takes undue advantage of what is being given to them. I really haven't. She uses big words and everything sounds nice. It's nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know these alternative words. <laughs> All right. We're going to play a little game. And this game is called One Word. But this time around, it's a bit different. <laughs> So I have these words in my hand because both of you speak brilliantly mm -hmm. and uh, Mahika of course she writes and writes and writes and of course you I think on a normal day even to buy a pound of bread you must be saying I don't know some in a way that the <laughs> Pankara might not be understanding at all. How do you all fight at home man? It must be so high end. Somebody <laughs> like me I'll be like oh compliments, compliments, compliments. <laughs> I will never understand what <laughs> you just use big words on your tall husband, no? No, so nobody understands, so then the argument is over. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you always use big words. Yes, I mean always, even on a basic conversation. But I have to quickly look at the dictionary. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna give you some words and you need to describe what they are, because you all may know these words. Your first word Sipus. What is, what is sepus? Really Guess know. what is sepus? Sepus is like a synopsis or? No idea. I have no idea. How do you spell it? Just say. S-E-A-P-U-S-S. -S. Sepus. S-E-A-P-U-S-S. -S. Sepus. What do you think it might be? I can't say it's a pussy living in the sea, right? <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> no, it's actually nothing to do with the body. Uh, it's actually really to see. Well done on that. It's a current. Hmm. Oh, sea puss. Sea puss. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Wow. All right. You already know that word. No, no? Scrabble, scrabble okay, words. So that's scrabble another word I mean, for me to remember. Yeah, that's another word you can use. <laughs> yes. Oh, the sipus, sipus. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get on the boat, sipus. <laughs> yep. Yeah. All right. Mm. Seaman. Spelling, please. S E A M A N. You you can't M E N. No, because th that is a very the yeah. connotation is not right. No, I just wanted to ask you. So. Seaman uh, is ship. a man who goes on the sea. Good, well done. You know it. Yes. Only Mahika was like thinking of the mountains there. <laughs> uh, Mahika, your favorite word, ballsy. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, tell me. It's what does ballsy mean? I'm determined and I'm courageous woman and nothing will falter. And nothing will hold me back. Okay. And I'm ballsy. <laughs> Lobcott. Lobcott. Give us some like some kind of a hint or You are a lobcott. That's not a is it like a cockney something? Something to do with cockney, no? No. Lobcott. Something to do with, I don't know. I mean, it just doesn't ring a bell. These are all good Scrabble words for sure. Idiot. Oh. Uh, yes. You did, you called her an idiot? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Nika Pekka. Nika Pekka It's not Nika Pekka, it's Nika Pekka. And I can think of a lot of things, but I don't think I should be saying it. No. Tell Nika you, Nika Pekka. Don't think dirty. These are all good words. Yeah. Well, I had a rat that came to my house, that Nika Pekka. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't mm. know. Okay. Mm. Nika Pekka is an English European green woodpecker. Oh, really? Mm. Nika Pekka. Nika Pekka. You thought of some other pecking. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Let's get into a break. We'll see you on the other side. Actually, nobody wants this, huh? <laughs> Yeah. No. No, I no. also didn't know how to read most of it. You yeah. all were bad at it as well. Yeah. Okay, mm. that's fine.
So we did some digging to see what's on their social media. Uh, kind of clean, but yet want to know the stories. So let's get into what's on their Facebook. So what's on their Facebook, and I'm telling you, these pictures are classic. Ah, that was our FM 99 was debut crowd. Was it the first crowd. day? I don't remember actually, oh, may, or may have been just around that time. Gosh, I was I think 75 pounds or something. Look at me, like Ethiopian. Your sari weighs more, for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and there were some really, see Arun, Ravi, John, John Imran, oh. Saibo. Shehan, Senivaratna, I can't remember, I think that was Sohan. Sohan is also there, I yes. know. So yes. So Sohan was a host oh, as well? Beautiful. Uh, he must have been there, or maybe sound or something. Eric Fernando, Mahes Pereira. Yeah, we had a good crowd. Mm, I can see. I can see. All right. Aww. Oh, that was at Chutney's. How did this love story begin? Um, How did you all meet? Where did you all meet? We are both, uh, we were both selected or he went one year before and I went one year after on something called the AFS scholarship mm. uh, where we go to high school for a year somewhere. So he went to the US, I went to Australia and when we came back, we sort of connected, uh, well oh, sort of. Uh, right. I didn't know mm. this part. Mm, that's interesting. Really? Height was never a problem. Uh, I don't think so somehow. That's amazing. How, how tall is he? Six? Six three. <gasps> And you are? I think I'm five, but he says I'm shorter. Right. With age also, you lose height. Oh, thank you yeah. for telling me. But he will lose too, so we'll, yeah, we'll be okay. <laughs> it'll, it'll balance it out. Oh, gosh. Mm. Where was this? Mount Lavinia Hotel. Why I do think. you look shocked? This is before you figured out makeup. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was like... God, look at my skinny skinniness. Yeah, tell me about it. That's it. Just Mount Lavinia Hotel. Ah, that's a new Jayavardhana at our wedding. So cute. At uh, the Methodist how, Church. How long ago was this? 1986 ish. Yes. Mahika. <gasps> <gasps> yeah, that was very sweet. <laughs> Recently? Yes, very recently. Uh, did you have a good time? Yes, because I was sitting with two exceptional, funny mm. gentlemen. Oh. <laughs> two of them. Oh, my hair stylist. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's all. My friend. <laughs> but he's been ab absconding me these days, so I don't know why. I can't blame him, no? Um, anyway, final picture. Ah, oh. that was actually, that made history. That was the very first time Karu actually came out of her cave and allowed me to interview her for Kaleidoscope. And Prishan is, well, family. Family, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And there's Mahikai in the background. Yeah, I can see. Very much there. <laughs> so, you're back on the green screen. Funny, no? Back From blue green to screen. green now. Back on the yeah. green screen. Oh, well, okay. what to do? Covid times, we couldn't get out, we out, couldn't go yeah. out and about, so it, it became, Zoom became imperative. Yeah, screen, screen, yeah. I know. Yeah. Passwords and Zooms mm. and all the timings and it was quite an interesting time for media. Uh, well, I wish you all the very best with especially what y'all are going to do in terms of speaking to some inspiring women. Uh, and men. And men. Um, and uh, currently, lots of things are going against women in terms of cyber issues and it's a huge problem and I'm sure you're touching on that as well during okay. these uh, topics and discussions. I think uh, as much as we need to educate the country about the cyber crimes that are there, what's happening, we also need to teach women about how cautious they must be when it comes to you know being in a vulnerable place or trusting the mm. wrong person and I think it has to start from a very young age from a school level time so that you know there could be more awareness on this. Uh, thank you so very much. I wish you all the very best uh, in what you all are doing and what you all hope to do. Uh, Mahika, thanks for being on the show again. This thank is the you. last. Okay, this is the last. <sighs> this is the last. <laughs> the last. <laughs> but we hope to see you. Yeah, yeah, I'll be there for sure. For sure. 
I like the fact that you brought me some other goodies with that. Yeah. Uh, Savitri, thank you for being on the thank show. Thank you for having us. And we would not have got this platform if you didn't invite us on the date. Oh, that's with okay. Two yes, women. that's true. And uh, I always say, Savitri has given me the biggest compliment in all my time on stage. And I treasure it very much. Uh, she called, she said that I won the Oscars that night. Just saying, Micah. That is because oh, wow. he did a piece for B Day, which was spectacular. 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 And the one we went to see? No, Micah. You time. don't appreciate my talent, so it's okay. I Thank you, Savitri. She is forever praising other people in front of me. Forever. Never has she ever said anything good about me. On that note, you're rushing, sir. We'll see you soon.